Okay, welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. For those following along, we've been doing the KZ Build Up Project. You can check those videos out here. And we are up to the stage where we've removed the engine from the car, and now we're going to start breaking it down. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to change a piston ring on a KZ engine, but it's very similar for motorbikes or other go-karts as well. So let's get to it. In the last video, we had remove the engine from the cup, but these are quick connects and it will keep the water inside the cylinder. And if you remove the bolts here, the water would actually split and go down into the crankcase, which is a big no-no. So we've removed those and drained that into a bucket, tipped it out. So now we're just gonna remove the other water hose for ease. Remember this engine's gonna get stripped all the way down to find the uh, gearbox problem. But for this episode, we're just going to show you the piston and ring and how easy it is to change it. So we're going to remove that. Now you're at the track and you want to put a new piston in your race engine. Oh, yep, no problems. Get your uh, 12 millimeter spanner. Okay, like that. And we're just going to undo these nuts. Okay, so we are going to remove these base screws by just cracking those with the, the back ones are 12 comes off and then the front two are 11s so once you crack those they just screw off Now, the cylinder, if you just rock it ever so slightly, should come free of the base gasket, and then you just give it a little jiggle. And now, as you, if you just rip the cylinder up like this, the um, conrod will flop forwards. But this one here, you can see inside the engine, so you can see here that we've taken the cylinder off and you've got your piston. This is brand new, only just run in. It's obviously plenty of oil. We've had no problem with the engine seizing. Um, and you can sort of see all your bottom end here on this this engine here. We've got these sort of, um, it's, it's almost like a flow area for the intake air that comes through the carby and the reeds and then directs it up into the transfer ports and back up into the top of the cylinder. Okay, so the first thing you gotta to do to change your piston is to remove this circlip. Okay, that's holding the, the pin in. So to do that, get a pick and just pick it out like so. Now careful, these fly across your workshop quite easily. So you wanna just crack them out like so. Don't reuse those, they're only a couple of dollars if that, and just put in a new one. Now you can remove the pin. Okay, so now we've removed the retaining clip, we can just get a little pusher here, otherwise you could use a pin punch and you slide it in this side and then you should just be able to eject the, the, the pin. Now that's enough if you remove the pusher that way and you can re take the piston off like so and remove the little end bearing. So now that we've removed the piston and the ring, if you had a brand new one to put in, now this one is still in serviceable condition, in fact it's brand new, just run in. But say you use your engine for its designated amount of time, and now it's time to rebuild it, or you're in between a heat if you're a hell racer, get yourself your new piston and ring, put some oil in your pinholes, insert the, the, the pit new, new pin if you're gonna use one, or the old one. So you've got your little end bearing here, and it's gonna go into this, uh, little end of the conrod. So place it, that in there like so. Now the piston is going to go over the top of that and you are going to push the pin through both the bearing and the conrod. Now to do that you can line it up by having a little look here and then just with your hand give it a little push and 
use the same tool that you use to pull it apart with to put it back together. Okay, so you've got your piston installed and we're going to install the new piston pin circlet. Make sure on your piston there's normally an arrow for a two-stroke engine. Now that arrow points towards the exhaust point. So on this one it's the back, but on a motorbike engine the, it'll be around the other way because generally the exhaust port is on the front of the engine, not the back. But the go-kart engines is the opposite. Put your circlip in your circlip tool if you've got one, otherwise you're going to have to just do it by hand, which is no not fun at all. And put that guy in there. This is a Rotax product. You can get that through our website or online. And you put the circlip in there and then you push it with this guy. Oops, too far. Okay, so you got your piston pin circlip inserting tool here. So grab your circlip and load it up there. Now it's got two ends. You use the tapered end first. And then you use the straight end. And it's got a little ridge there to hold the circlip before you insert it into the piston. So the piston pin is inserted in the tool. So just push that into the piston area and hold it with your left hand. And then you're going to strike this end just with a, lightly with a hammer and it's going to spring into the piston. Just like so. So you can see here that the circlip's gone into its groove. You can double check that using the pin or, or a, a pick. Now this is really important. You've got to make sure that that goes all the way into its groove. If it's only just sitting up here on the edge, it can fly out while you're using the engine and it's going to be catastrophic failure. So do that and now we're good to go. Okay, so now we're ready to install the cylinder. The piston's back on, the new circlip's been put in. Okay, so you just need to pinch the ring ever so slightly, remembering the arrow goes towards the exhaust port side of the cylinder. And then grab your cylinder, push the ring, slide it over the top, give it a little bit of a jiggle. Okay, and then you can go down, line up the studs, and you're in. And then it's a matter of just putting the bolts back on, doing it up, go your hardest. There you have it. That's how you change the piston and ring on a KZ race engine. It's very similar to your motorbikes, some of the other go-kart engines as well. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or hit the thumbs up button. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Power Republic or go to our website www.powerrepublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt and a hat. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.